Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is All Things Japanese. Uh, some of you guys who don't know yet about me, uh, I've been uh, doing a software engineering job and also I did an uh, 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 internship at Microsoft. And if you don't know about Microsoft, obviously almost everybody knows, Microsoft is called, uh, is, uh, called uh, Big Four. Uh, in uh, Reddit terminology, and Big Four stands for uh, Big Four uh, stands uh, stands for Big uh, International Tech Companies, and those are Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, and usually Apple is also included. But people use uh, Big Four to 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 refer to those big companies, and they are actually uh, one of the biggest companies in the entire world. When it comes to revenue and profit, I think that the big four uh, accounts for for I think top five, I think uh, uh, biggest revenues in the world, and uh, so I'm gonna talk about in this video about how I got internship at Microsoft, one of the big four. So I was uh, uh, pursuing bachelor of science, um, and that was. Um, just about to finish uh, second year, uh, beginning of the third year, I uh, just finished uh, another uh, co-op, first co-op work at one of the biggest uh, Canadian uh, tech companies. And uh, so I had two years of education under my belt and one co-op experience. In terms of my computer science coursework, I have done data structure, I have done uh, software engineering, I have done uh, computer architecture, I've done introduction to programming language in Java. I've done uh, uh, algorithm uh, introduction to algorithm. So those are basic uh, software engineering courses or computer science courses that I've taken before applying for uh, Microsoft interview. So I didn't have uh, I haven't t I didn't finish uh, operating system, but I, oh, okay I forgot to mention. But I also finished a database before applying for. Uh, uh, Microsoft interview. So how I that that whole process like how it went down and how I got a job job offer from Microsoft. So basically, I applied uh, for a Microsoft summer internship position from Microsoft website. I think it was uh, end of year, so I was like, I think it was like November or December. Usually, uh, Microsoft intern as well as other you know big companies internship starts from May. In the, during the summertime, so it's it runs from May until August, and uh, some of the companies also taking intern intern students during the fall semester or winter semester as well. But the biggest one being usually summer semester, because usually because you know, people have more uh, uh, free time uh, break from you know summer, uh, so they take summer break, and so to 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 get an uh, internship position for summer starting from May, uh, I think I remember the last like deadline, that latest time for them to interview people was like March because um, they want to finish uh, interviews and stuff by end of March so that they can work on uh, if you're international students or if you're non-US uh, citizen they need to they need to go through a uh, visa uh, documentation stuff with their uh, law department lawyer so it takes like a month and they you know, before they do that um, they need to have a job offer so to do that, you know, I kind of back, um, I kind of uh, calculated timeline backward, and then decided to uh, apply like November, December, and uh, recruiter uh, got back to me. I think in January or February. So I think they are probably interviewing other more probably more competitive or other candidates. Uh, one of the reasons, but they they probably were already interviewing other intern candidates. January, uh, February, and they got back to me like February, and then we did a uh, one uh, thirty minutes uh, phone screen interview with a uh, recruiter. So first round was phone screening, and the recruiter asked me questions about like you know my background, the kind of projects that I'm working on, or like you know what's what was like you know, my uh, most favorite work or uh, my most difficult task or most challenging work, why I decided to study computer science, why I applied for Microsoft and whatnot. And at the end, like uh, by the uh, end of the 30 minutes phone call screen, 
interview uh, recruiter uh, told me that she was pretty pleased and uh, uh, impressed by my answer to one of the hard questions which was about why I decided to study computer science and why I decided I wanted to work at Microsoft specifically and after that she gave me um, advice or like inputs like okay that's I really like your answer next time like you know you know next round of interview they're gonna ask you about you know technical questions so make sure to uh, talk out loud about your thinking process because those engineers in an interview are looking to find how you think you know step-by-step -step thinking as opposed to your final answer so make sure to talk out loud when you are uh, thinking about some problem that's what uh, my uh, the recruiter I talked on the phone told me by but at the end of a phone call screening. So I guess at the time, okay, she's giving me uh, uh, extra like you no know, tips for next round. So I thought I passed this phone screen, and that was obvious because she already kind of she was already in class and she told me like you know next round is gonna be you know make sure to 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 do this and that to impress the interviewers. So I was like, okay, good, sounds good, I, don't, I was feeling good. And then I think, I think um, I didn't do uh, online, online uh, technical coding interviews. Uh, they uh, flew me to uh, Redmond campus in Washington, United States from my city. Uh, so they paid for flight, uh, hotel accommodation for like two nights and three days. And uh, so they flew me to uh, their on-site, you know, campus interview, and of course, um, you know, I, I was still taking classes, so I needed to skip some of the classes to go take an interview, you know, and uh, but I did anyways. Uh, it was it was like you know coordinating, uh, you know, co coordinating with their uh, relocation specialist to find out about a good time because you know, you might have assignments and exams coming up, so I needed to find a good spot where I can, um, um, where I won't have as much of uh, impact my study and exams. And so I flew there in, in Seattle. I think I stayed at a hotel in uh, Bellevue, which is really nice, more uh, 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 upper, I would say, uh, upper class area at Bellevue. And then I went to uh, campus, Microsoft campus, and uh, interview on site, in-person interview was probably uh, that consisted of uh, four rounds of interview, four or five rounds, and one round was uh, 45 minutes each. So 45 minutes per round, and you have like 10 minutes break, and then you're gonna go for another round for like 45 minutes or 15 minutes. And so you do that for uh, two rounds in the morning, and I think there was a lunch break. And then after that, you're gonna have. Uh, I think I had two more rounds of interviews, and uh, usually um, interview questions, like a difficulty of interview questions, go up by as you go move to a next round of interview. And and so they asked me. They asked me uh, a variety of questions. One question was obviously about you know, whiteboard coding, technical coding interview. Other one was when I uh, when I was on the third round of interview, uh, uh, the interview or interviewer asked me about more of like the design question, not so much of a technical coding question, but uh, more of a complexity and a design. Like they obviously told me to 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 write up a code on a paper, but uh, he asked me to 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 speak out what kind of design I would go for based on the requirements and and uh, the last round was the uh, hardest technical coding interview among other three rounds and uh, that was about you know binary it was about three question and uh, you know you can find that kind of questions from a cracking coding interview but anyways so the, uh, the on-site interview consisted of four rounds or five rounds of interview and after that uh, you get sent back to you. Uh, I got sent back to everybody. Got sent back to their hotels in Bellevue, and uh, uh, we are given I think sixty dollars or 40, 40 or fifty dollars dinner budget. 
and also morning uh, uh, lunch or breakfast budget were also like reimbursed but dinner was like 40 bucks or 50 bucks and then recruiter made sure uh, they told me kind of like they kind of uh, told me to enjoy Seattle like they encouraged us to go explore Seattle like downtown and have nice dinner and get to know the city and so that was whole uh, you know as, uh, as a package of an uh, interview two days and three nights and Microsoft recruiters are really nice accommodating and uh, they made sure that this interview experience the whole interview experience is as pleasing as possible and so they made sure that this interview was not just about uh, performing well in uh, uh, coding on the whiteboard, but they made sure that we, uh, as a future intern, get you know a little bit of a glimpse of uh, what it's like to live in Seattle, like to to get to know you know feel comfortable around you know around the area. So that was really uh, pleasing, and uh, I felt like I was really treated treated like. Uh, I like they they treated all the interns like a candidate interview candidates as you know as um, I would say let's say they didn't treat us like just a student you know they pay for uh, flights accommodations and food uh, and also you know they made sure that we go explore have fun at night and so that was really good and after that. Um, I think next day, like before I leave, so it was two nights and three days. So next morning, like start night, I'm checking out from hotel room and I was waiting for a shuttle to uh, airport. Uh, it's also reimbursed. Um, voucher was given, uh, taxi voucher, and I was waiting in a hotel lobby and I received an email from recruiter and I got offer. And I read the email and I was like so like so happy like I was kind of like ecstatic and I, kept, I couldn't believe that was possible I was pretty nervous but I knew that I did my best and, and I wasn't I wasn't uh, feeling um, uh, regretful of what I did and so regardless of that result I would be happy anyways but I got a uh, job offer and I was super super happy about that you know outcome and then I flew back to Vancouver uh, uh, you know, I'll go back to old, you know, like normal student life, and then I think a few days after, uh, we set up a phone call, uh, phone call with uh, a recruiter, and uh, we discussed about uh, offer package, and then she asked me, you know, if I'm okay with this, you know, salary compensation and blah blah blah, and then obviously if you're a student, and then, you know, you're gonna be more than happy to get, you know, such a big amount of compensation. And uh, also, that big name helps, you know, your resume as well. But more than that, you are so excited to work with one of the biggest uh, and best tech companies in the world. So that's what it's like for me to go through the uh, interview process. And um, the preparation part was definitely uh, challenging. Uh, I, I needed to uh, balance my normal like, studies for classes and exams and assignments. And on top of that, I uh, I think I um, um, I allocated probably like one hour, at least one hour per day for just studying for coding interviews. Um, so I started preparing uh, two months before. So March was there was a interview on site interview in March beginning of March. I started preparing uh, from January, and so I spent like I you know, set aside like a two month worth of uh, time to study, you know, before I go to bed. And that really paid off. And I was really studying for like, you know, the studying for final uh, interview was kind of like me studying for uh, a final, final exam of one class. So that gives you how much like, you know, a workload, I, uh, how much workload for me to, to prepare for interview. You know, if you think about you know, studying for one final exam, it's usually uh, usually um, final exam covers the entire thing like in a textbook that you learn throughout the whole semester. So it takes like you know at least like two weeks uh, of intensive study to cover and like, review and refresh your memory uh, to 
to go for final exam and that was what it's like you know when you're uh, doing a technical coding interview for big companies like that uh, they're gonna ask you they're gonna grill on you grill on you with the uh, various questions, computer science related questions, could be about data structure, could be about algorithm, could be about database, could be about object oriented design, could be about design pattern, you know, it could be about Java, it could be about uh, a little bit more um, probability oriented question. I didn't know, right? You never know. But this was, you know, basically uh, my experience, how I got a job at Microsoft. It was a long time ago. Uh, Four years ago, four years ago, wow, and they treat you really nice, you know, Microsoft intern program is probably one of the best among other companies because they treat you, they take you to uh, uh, this uh, event called Microsoft Signature Event, it, which usually happens at the end of July, and they're going to take you out to a concert or park. When I was there back in 2013, they invited Marco Moore to a. Uh, they enti they rented out the entire Boeing factory in Seattle. All the people, like only Microsoft interns, uh, were able to get into a uh, Boeing factory. And they had really nice food, um, sushi, whatever, and uh, Boeing uh, 737 was right there, and there was uh, a stage. And Marco Moore came, uh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Dead Mouse was there as well. And at the end of this entire signature event, uh, they gave out free Microsoft Surface. I think it was two, or Microsoft's, Microsoft Surface 2 or 3. They gave out the Surface Pros or Surface 2 as a free gift to every single intern student. And that was the end of my uh, internship experience and I flew back to my city and I took uh, one more month because uh, internship was usually uh, three months as not as opposed to four months so I had one month of uh, kind of like vacation so I decided to you know fly to Las Vegas and have fun so that was uh, 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 my experience with Microsoft and how I got a job for, for Microsoft hope um, this uh, video uh, gave you some insights about you know what it's like to go through the interview process and if you have a chance definitely go for it uh, your your career will be you know will be um, you know um, you will never regret working at Microsoft obviously but your career is gonna be changed forever for good and uh, uh, if you have any questions let me know uh, I might do a coding interview uh, video well, I'll be doing uh, something more related to career, software engineer, I don't know, depending on the kind of interest I get from this video, but let me know, make sure to subscribe and like and comment if you like this video and have questions. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time, future software engineers. Stay focused at your study, uh, study hard, and prepare for technical coding interview. Alright, have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.